Welcome to all you Aquarians out there. Welcome for your monthly horoscope for July 2013. And um, it's a very interesting month because there is a lot of activity in Cancer and Cancer is your sixth house. So I made a separate video of Jupiter and Livid transiting that six, transiting that uh, Cancerian house so uh, you can check that out if you uh, are interested but it's not only jupiter who will be there for a whole year it's not only livid who will be there up until february it's also mars the planet of action in that house it's also mercury the planet of communication in that house that goes direct again as from the 21st so you will get more um understanding uh, about that sixth house stuff and there is also a new moon uh, at the 8th of July, considering that new moon is in Cancer in your sixth house. So a lot of uh, beam on the sixth house for you Aquarians this month. That will continue as it um, uh, with Jupiter and Lilith. And that's why I emphasized uh, that in another separate video. But what, what is it all about for Aquarians? For Aquarians, this is all about um, uh, s separated uh, stuff. It could be your work, it could be your health, it could be your pets, small animals. In general, it's our day-to-day -day stuff that we do. So for most people, it is work. It is work that is uh, um, on, the, on the surface here and um, getting this spotlight here. Now, Jupiter and Lilith, what does it mean in the sixth house in Cancer for you? Jupiter is about expansion, so it's a good planet in a good sign of Cancer. It likes it in there because Cancer is a water sign, so it can expand a lot. Uh, Jupiter is about finding meaning, finding um, uh, enjoyment in life and finding understanding also, because it's a spiritual planet. If you put that together with work it can mean that you can find meaning in, uh, through work maybe find another job maybe find uh, more work or maybe find a shift in work that has to do with jupiter that has to do with teaching or that has to do with knowledge because jupiter also represents knowledge for other people it can be an emphasis on their health on how can i make my health better it's a good time for that with jupiter in in cancer now the paradox is with Lilith there. Lilith is not that happy in Cancer because Lilith is an energy that is about strong-willed um, self-interest. Uh, that is about, you know, the fist on the table. I want my equality. Equality is, uh, I think for Aquarians, equality, they, they have affinity with that. They want, Aquarians are known about, you know, the liberty, egality, fraternity, it's very Aquarian-like. And um, with Lilith, it means that it transits a house that has to do with day-to-day -day stuff. So you will feel that energy considering those areas that I just talked about. So around that area that I just talked about, you will feel that Lilith energy which is about feeling in a way rejected maybe because of what you are going to do with work maybe other people are going to say what the hell are you going to do with that new job and um, but the lilid energy says i have to stand up for myself no matter what no matter even if other people say it's not mainstream and expect that other people will do that or it can have to do with your health maybe you uh, have an illness and you were uh, doing uh, you know your stuff to to heal yourself and other people can think what the hell is he or she doing so but the thing is the energy is all about strong-willed uh, energy of self-interest so that is really really important and that jupiter there can help that jupiter can expand and support that you you do have to stand up for yourself in a way we all have with this jupiter and lilith in cancer we all have and for you it's particularly in that area of your life which has to do with work health and uh, pets 
so maybe you are having a new pet and it is a and and it is so meaningful for you but it has its own character it can be a, as simple as that as well but anyway uh, a lot of um, uh, paradoxes are there uh, not to be solved paradoxes are there to and especially in this case to merge those two so different energies together the nurturing side the supportive side and also the self-interest side it's a bit contradictory but it has to be um it, it it's there to merge and it, it's there to uh interact with each other so very interesting for you aquarians um, I wish you all the best with this Jupiter and Lilith through your sixth house and also with the other whole bunch of planets there. If you want to see that video, click the link below. If you want to have a private consultation, click the link below. And another thing, I do uh, astrology courses as well as from September. Uh, the maximum um, amount of people is 10 people because otherwise it becomes, you know, the quality is not guaranteed when there are so many people interacting with each other so hope you will um, look at that as well and i wish you all the best for july have a good time bye bye